Uh, so, uh, one on topic and one off topic question, if you will indulge. Uh, uh, yeah, it depends on the question. <laughs> um, so, on the, uh, the on topic, uh, based on the, the, the allegations of this and some of the other cases that you brought, um, I'm wondering whether uh, you know, the, the concern in the industry about um, the, the ability of some of these uh, startup companies, some of the smaller companies, to abide by this very costly uh, regulatory and legal. Uh, regimen that the United States requires, whether it, it, it will mean that you can't really do uh, virtual currency and have this industry thrive and, and some of the cutting edge things that Lisa and Monica just mentioned uh, with that very heavy burden of regulatory compliance. I'm wondering whether you have a message for the industry when it comes to that. And then the, if, if I can ask my off-topic question, um, we're expecting uh, at any moment uh, the Israeli government and some of the other parties to announce a, 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 an agreement for the release of hostages in uh, being held by Hamas. Um, if you can comment on that and also just what the Justice Department and some of the other agencies that are represented here are doing uh, to respond to the attacks uh, in Israel on October 7th. We know, of, obviously, the Hamas has had a presence here in the United States and the, the concern about how they raise money, including, of course, by cryptocurrency, uh, is something that is on everyone's mind. I'm wondering what you're doing about that uh, in light of what happened. All right, I'll, let me start with the off topic. Um, I was in a meeting this morning with national security officials, law enforcement officials, and the president regarding fentanyl, and he told the press that his team has been actively negotiating over possibility of bringing home some of the hostages. They thought very close that we were very close to being able to do that, but that he couldn't say anything more at that time, and I also can't say anything more at that time, at this time. Um, with respect to the um, uh, deaths of Americans. We always investigate deaths of Americans, uh, and we are actively investigating the deaths of, uh, of the Americans uh, using all the tools available to us. Uh, we have, I think, as the um, um, uh, FBI director said at a recent all th uh, threats um, uh, hearing before the judiciary, and as I've said, we are investigating Hamas connections in the United States with respect particularly with respect to um, financial uh, support, um, and uh, that includes cryptocurrency. Uh, but we are also concerned about the possibility of uh, more kinetic problems uh, that they could cause, and we're investigating that. Now, on the, now I've talked a lot, so on the on-topic question, I will say you follow the law. You don't get a special benefit because you think that you're, what you're doing is better for society or better for small business or better for big business or better for international. The United States has laws and everybody, including cryptocurrency platforms, have to follow the law. 